Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to be doing a bookshelf tour as I thought it would be quite interesting to do to see what the books I have on my shelf. Now as you can see my bookshelf is uh, organised by the colour to a certain extent and to actually get to my bookshelf I have to move my laundry basket and these two CD and DVD stands uh, but on the top of that these are the books which I'm currently reading, which I mentioned in the video before, but just for a recap, I'm reading The Horological by Mark Forsyth and Writer's Tale by Russell T. Davis and Benjamin Cook. And I'm also reading The Five People You Meet in Heaven. So we'll start from the top with my blue books. The first book is um, The Lion, the Witch in the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis, The Lovely Bones by Alice Seabold, which is actually in my mum's bit the note to offer. Looking for Alaska by John Green. It's OK and Wearing Really Big Knickers, which is the second book in the George Nicholson series by Louise Renison. Um, Best Friends by Jacqueline Wilson. The Worry Website by Jacqueline Wilson. Also The Mum Minder and Sleepovers. And then we have The Fault in Our Stars, Hardback and Paperback. The Clean Break by Jacqueline Wilson. Wonder by R.J. Palacio, which I bought recently. S Simon Tracy Beaker by Jacqueline Wilson. New School for Saurus. Dustbin Baby. Midnight. Love is a Many Childhood Thing, which I think is the 8th or 7th book in the George Nicholson series. Uh, My Sister Jodie. And Dancing in My Nuddy Pants, which is one of the early books in the... Uh, George Dickerson series, I believe. And then here we have my uh, Harry Potter collection of books. And then on the top of that is one of um, Gideon's Bibles, which practically every year seven student in the UK is given. And there you go. Most of the books I have are by Jack Jacqueline Wilson because I read a lot of her books as a child. So if I don't say the author's name it's probably Jacqueline Wilson's and it's quite clear on the book if it's hers or not so there you go. Uh, on the pink books the first one is Saturday's autobiography then totally Jacqueline Wilson which is kind of an annual thing it has a few new stories in and as well and a diary of a snob by Grace Dent which I actually haven't read yet and uh, my secret diary Candy Floss, and that's when it fell off in my hand, which is about the fifth book in the Georgia Nicholson series, Bally Shoes by Noel Streetfield, Cookie by Jacqueline Wilson, Lola Rose, started by his Fairy Shorts, which is the seventh book, I think, in the series, Is He Zip Mouth, A Girl's Collection by Jacqueline Wilson, which contains Girls in Love, Girls Under Pressure, Girls Out Late, and Girls in Tears. The Girls Book of Glamour, A Guide to Being a Goddess. A Kiss, Does My Head Look Big in This by Amanda Abdel Fatter. I probably have pronounced that name wrong, but I really like that book. It's very interesting topic and themes. And Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell. Hetty Feather by Jacqueline Wilson. I only read a quarter of that, then I decided it was too old for Jacqueline Wilson books. <laughs> Uh, Love Lessons, An Abundance of Catherine's. Um, this is a little like spin off book from the George Nicholson series. It just gives loads of like uh, little tips about love and stuff, even though most of it's like pretty kind of useless, I suppose, because it's because the character of George is a bit useless with love and stuff. Life of Pi by Jan Martel. And the girls' book, How to Be the Best at Everything. I got that as a Christmas present a few years ago. Can't put that back in. <laughs> um, McFly's Autobiography, Unsaid Things. Really loved that. It's amazing. Paper Towels... Uh, excuse me. Paper Towels by John Green. I bought that quite recently. Marley, A Dog Like, like No Other by John Grogan. Uh, the Pile of Stuff at the Bottom of the Stairs by Christine Hopkinson and a lot of The White and Black Books 
Um, first of all, we have uh, the Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. It's going to show you, so this is a clear look at it. There you go. Um, the Treasured Tales from Beatrix Potter, Shook by Lightning by Chris Colfer. Um, the Pirates and an Adventure of Scientists by Gideon Defoe. I got that free, it came free in the newspaper, so I'm not sure if it's a full uh, edition or if it's just a preview because I haven't read it yet. <laughs> School Dictionary, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. My Twilights, Don't Judge Me Alright. <laughs> uh, I even have The Shorter Second Life of Bree Tanner. Uglies by Scott Westerfeld, I bought that recently. Diamond Girls, Jacqueline Wilson. Breakaway and Tear Away by Phil Cummings, who I'm actually related to. I uh, think he's my second cousin or something similar. He's from Austra He lives in Australia. I actually haven't read his books yet, but yeah, check him out. Sneaky promo for a family member. Uh, Big Woo, my not so secret teenage vlog by Susie Day. Really like that one. Just Listen by Sarah Desson. Uh, it was a good book, but I think I was a bit too young. For it, as it had quite a few adult themes in, which I didn't really like at the time. I was a bit too young for it, to be honest. The Hundred Year Old Man Who Climbed Out of the Window and Disappeared by Jonas Jonasson. Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler. I read this journal and my Hunger Games box set. Then we move on to the second to last shelf. I don't have very many yellow, green or orange books, so that's why I have a kind of a bit mismatch, really. Uh, knocked out by my Nunga Nungas, uh, which is the third book in the George Nicholson series, as uh, Nanny Ain't My Boy in Chances by Louise Renison, which is the fifth, sixth book in the series, I think. Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Angus Fong's and Full Frontal Snogging, the first book in the George Nicholson series by Louise Venison. Jackie Daydream, which is her autobiography of young years, and My Secret Diary, which I showed before, is of her teenage years. And then the Jacqueline Wilson quiz, quiz book, The Suitcase Kid, The Cat Mummy, really like that one. And then these are the last two books in the George Nicholson series. Which is um, obviously my presume as I see before me, and stopping the name of pants. Then I have these ten classic stories, which I actually haven't read yet. I got them a few years ago as a present for my grandma. For my grandma, sorry. Um, I actually haven't read these yet, as when I got them when I was younger, I thought I was a bit too young to read them. But anyway. They're published by Wordsworth, I think. Wordsworth Editions, yeah, the, the Wordsworth Editions. Um, let's see what books we have. Have Alice in Wonderland, Anne of Green Gables, Black Beauty, The Jungle Book, Kidnapped Little Woman, Robin Hood, The Secret Garden, The Ray Rail Children. Why did that take so long to say? The Railway Children, uh, Treasure Island, and here's my Order of the Phoenix copy. Which I'm um, rereading. And then on the bottom shelf, there's not very much. There's the Lady Gaga, Terry Richardson book, which is looking a bit dusty, to be honest. <laughs> a few folders, and this cute recipe book from Marks and Spencer's, which is for children, but it gives like really easy recipes and stuff. And then an unauthorised McFly annual and an atlas. It's because they don't fit on my bookshelf so I thought I'd just show you them anyway even though they're not technically on bookshelf but I thought you might be interested in seeing them. So here we are in order clothes on the bed. <laughs> uh, so first off this is How, Lo How Loud Can You Burp by Glenn Murphy which is by the Science Museum. Well it's a book published by them anyway. Just that and swing loads of uh, questions about science and stuff. Um, Love Lottery by Kathy Hopkins, quite like this book, although I dislike the fact that the author's name is written in Comic Sans. My Life Starring One by Chloe Rabin, the, the title's kind of rubbed off because 
still got on holiday and because of suntan cream and the heat and things. But I really like this book. Um, Need by Carrie Jones, got it free in a magazine, never read it. It's only a tiny preview book anyway, I believe. Wilson got it postcard book, as you do. George Nicholson's Little Pink Book, which is like a little notebook for like drawings and stuff. And it's got a few like little bits of text from the books, I believe. Then 32C That's Me by Chris Higgins. Really like that. Interesting topic and stuff. Um Annabella by Amanda Swift. Really like that one. Uh, a lot a lot to hear book. Uh, Sting of the Zygons by Stephen Cole. And The Story of Martha by Dan Abnett. Haven't read that yet, but I quite like to. <laughs> And then we have Kathy Cassidy with Lucky Star. Uh, Kathy Cassidy again with Sunday Girl. Then I have the books in the by Sue Lim in the Girl 15, etc. genre. Well, the series, I mean, not genre. <laughs> uh, Girl Nearly 16 Absolute Torture, which is the last one, I believe. Uh, Girl 15 Charming But Insane. And girl 15 flirting for England. So yeah, that's all my books, guys. Um hope you enjoyed that little tour. Responses below if you want of your bookshelf tours. Um also I'm gonna be doing a few more book videos uh, in the coming weeks. I've got quite a few video ideas planned and I've seen a good few book tags which are quite interesting and I quite like even though people don't really like tag videos, these are quite fun. And I'm not running out of ideas because I'm doing tag videos. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll see you next time guys. Bye!